All right guys, Jamie here from Oztech Drones. What we're gonna go through in this video is manual flights. So XAG have really, uh, in the last year or two, they've really um, upgraded their manual flights. So they used to be really good at their autonomy. Uh, now they're trying to focus on some of their uh, manual sort of operations. So we're using one of the ARC3 controllers here. You can see it's nice little nimble controller. Um, we can have a bigger screen on there if you want. We've just got a phone on there because we don't see the need of having a big screen on there. You can use a tablet or anything like that. We're just using a little screen. Um, so we're just gonna do, what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna go out there. I'll show you how it works, how easy it is now to manually spray, spot spray, uh, change your rates and everything like that using the actual controller now. Uh, we're not working off any stations. It is in VRTK mode, um, so it's still gonna have that accuracy. It's not gonna drift or anything like that. Um, yeah, so. Literally all we're doing, turning it on, turning the controller on, everything's all good to go. No mucking around with anything else. Let's go for a fly. So, I'm going to come into the shade here. I'm going to switch back to the screen here. You can see, we'll go operation, we'll go manual operation, so we're changing it. What that is, is you can just change, you know, how fast you want to go and everything like that. Um, your top speed so that you can be a bit more uh, precise in your spraying if you're doing manual stuff. You know, if you're sitting flat out, um, it'll be, you know, you can fly fast, but you don't, you, you don't really want to fly too fast because, um, you know, if you want to spray, you want to be nice and precise. So, all we're going to do here now, we're going to grab the controller. We're just going to go two angle down diagonally, so like that. It's going to beep. The drone's going to beep, it's going to do like a, uh, an idle. We can just let it there and leave it idle if we want. Otherwise, all we're going to do is just going to throttle up. It's going to take off. And pretty much from here, I'll take it away so that we can actually talk. So, from here, we've got a few options here. So what we can do here, I don't know if you can see here on the screen, we've got these little knobs here now on these controllers. So. They, they actually turn, and if we see, if we turn those knobs, you can see on the screen here, it's gonna tell us how, like, our volume, and also we can change, the other one across, the next one changes the droplet size. So, we can go, you know, from a 70 micron droplet up to a 500 micron droplet. And all we're gonna do to turn on the sprays, all we're gonna do is this far one here on the right, we're just gonna press and hold it, and you can see now, the sprays are gonna engage. So, sometimes you'll find I'll change it, I've pressed the wrong one. So you'll see as well, on the actual, when, when I engage it, the next one across, so I'll turn it on for, for the video, so you can see it there. I can change the output if I turn those, and I can also change the droplet size. So I can go from coarse like that, to a very fine droplet like that. And you can see, it, it's really that easy now to turn the sprays on and off, fly to a spot you want to spray. You can see it on the camera on the front as well. Um, you can see the camera underneath on the screen there. We can see where we are. You can change it to the forward facing camera. You can fly it to wherever you want uh, and then spray like that. So it's really that easy now and, it's, and it's, honestly it's a very um, very agile machine now. So you know we can go quite fast or quite slow and precise if we want. So it's such like even uh, when we were doing the CASA endorsements, you know, they were saying, CASA themselves, how smooth and how nice it is to fly, you know, like, you're not jerkiness, no, um, you know, it doesn't look like it's unstable or anything like that. It's such a nice little aircraft to fly now. So smooth because of those floating props, to be honest. Have fun flying this little thing now funner than flying some of our smaller little ones. So you can see, we can have obstacle detection on as well. It'll pull itself up. So you can have that off too if you're manually flying. Um, you can have it so that, you know, if you want to go close to trees and everything like that, we can turn those sprays on as well. And, you know, that's a very fine spray. We can coarsen it up or fine it up. So you can change it depending on what you're doing. Come back and land. All you're doing is just literally come back. You can press on the on the screen, return to home, and it'll come back to where it took off from. Or we can just literally come back and manually land it ourselves. So it's just like that. It's quite easy now. Um, there's no, 
you know, you don't need to uh, have anything spectacular to be able to manually fly. You don't need three different controllers or anything like that now. It's really that easy now just to manually fly it and spot spray or if you want to just do little creek beds or little channels or anything like that. Very easy to use and uh, yeah, we're very happy with it. Very good, thank you.